Hi, my name's Heather and I'm from Party Masters. I'm going to show you how to make a one balloon unicorn. Now I would be willing to bet you you're going to make a lot of these. So I would suggest getting really comfortable with it. <laughs> First thing you're going to do, blow up a balloon and you're going to want roughly 10 fingers in tail. Okay. Give it a little bit of a squeeze, not too much. Now the thing is we need to make the back of him very small so that we're going to have a little bit left at the top for the horn. So let's do a small, like a one inch ball for the tail. Then we wanna do a couple of two inch chambers for his legs. Twist that together and push that through just to lock all that together and help keep those legs down instead of flipping back up on us. Then we want about a three inch um, chamber for the body. Now repeat the same size legs you have on the back. So another couple of two inch chambers. And twist those together. Now you're gonna to wanna to make six one inch bubbles, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hang on a minute. Five, I did that one a little bit big. Six. And then we are gonna to want to twist those together at the bottom. So now what you're left with, you've got this nice little uh, <laughs> ring there. So now what we're going to do, we're going to make his neck, which is going to be about a two inch chamber. Go up to the third one and poke that through. Okay. And then give it a little twist. And those two balls are going to help keep that uh, head down a little bit instead of sticking backwards, okay? Then you're going to want to make two more one inch balls. Now, if I had a little bit more here, I would probably make the ears a little bit larger, but I don't. So I'm going to take a look at what I have and adjust. Okay, roll this what is going to be the head, roll it through the ears. Okay, and what you're left with when you're all done, you've got his hair, his neck, two little ears, and a nice piece of the tail still left. So now you wanna pinch this off here. Get it as nice and flat as you possibly can, because you don't want it sticking out. Okay, bring it right back underneath everything. And then you're going to want to work it back up into here. Now you see, even with everything we did, nice and small, we still only end up with this little bit of a horn. So you want to really, really be careful of how big you make everything else to make sure that you have even just that little bit. That will be enough to make the kids happy. If by chance you do run out and you just can't do it, then I would highly suggest grab another piece of balloon, blow it up, and you could put it in there. I don't suggest doing that if you don't have to, because first of all, it's gonna take more time. And the next thing you know, you're gonna have the kids asking for specific colors of horns. And then you know how that goes. Anyways, there is your one balloon unicorn. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll enjoy making it. We will see you in the next video. Bye.